Hey everyone, it's Johnny from Extra Boxing, and today I'm going to review all the major boxing trackers and sensor apps on the market. So I've had these for two years, probably over two years, because I was too lazy to write the review and make the video and oh, do the write-up and all that. But the cool thing was that because I had them for two years, I was able to really see the app evolve over time, what's changed, what's improved. Also to really use the trackers again and again and again to see how they perform in real world conditions or real training conditions. Um, the five major brands are Punch Lab, Hixo, AKA Fight Camp, Corner, Everlast PAQ, PIQ, and the Strike Tech. Those are the five. There's some other generic ones on Amazon. I don't recommend, okay? Just, it's crap, don't buy it. Um, I'm gonna talk about how they impact your training and whether I would train with them, what I personally like or don't like about them. You'll also see the app live here on the second phone. And I don't talk about the pricing too much because it looks like their business model keeps changing. Like they're still figuring things out. You know, every couple of months, it's like different things are in the free tier, different things are in the paid tier, like a paid monthly subscription. I also got to see that these apps are kind of evolving over time. So it used to be that the sensor, the, the boxing trackers and sensor apps were like, it's just like you, you, you hit the bag, you see some numbers roll around on the phone, and then that's it, that's it. It's a one-time purchase, and that's, that's all that happens. But now, it seems they've kind of all evolved into like a monthly subscription model where you pay a monthly fee, and then you get to see some pretty cool training videos or, or just like train-along videos. Some of them are built around your phone app, and some of them are built around like your home app. So you're supposed to like have a little punching bag in your living room and then you watch your TV. So you see the numbers on the TV, it's like a big video game. So a lot's changed in this space and I'm kind of cool. Like I said, I got to see it for two years. So I'll give you my honest thoughts. We'll get straight to the first one. Okay, you guys. So let's start with the very first tracker and app. The first one is Punch Lab. It's probably my favorite. So it's just an app. There's no tracker. Nothing is strapped to your hands. You just use your phone. You put the phone on the belt and then like based on you punching the, punching the bag, the phone tracks the hits and counts it up there for you. So here um, you can go to different ones. It's really cool. You can pick different workouts um, based on what you want to do. Uh, it also has third party instructors on there. I'm on there so you can find my like my jab workouts and whatnot, uh, my different training workouts. So let's just pick a random one or you can also like just free train, like freestyle training. Um, I don't know if I have the subscription in here, but the app is very simple. Either you go to like free training or you go to like one of the training, uh, one of the instructionals, right? And then some of them are more fitness based, like it'll, you know, like count numbers and tell you to punch and stuff. Others are more instructional, like you'll hear them telling you what to do with your body technique. And then there's a count where you can see your history and how much weight you've lost, how many punches you've thrown, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to do the free training one and I'm going to put it here. So... I'm just going to hit start, right? And then uh, here, I'm going to put on the tracker, and there you go. It wants you to put your phone on the, the belt. And, and I'm not going to calibrate. I'm just going to put it in here. And it works like that. And then, and you can see, boom, boom, boom. So you, this is the hit number over here. You can see it up here. Boom, boom, boom. And as I hit it, it will go up. And of course, you don't hear anything going on right now because uh, I just did the free training. So I'm gonna exit out of this and if I go to the, uh, the training over here, I'm gonna just pick a random series. Uh, here you go, quick series. I hit download, oh, okay, so you got download. So let's go over what I liked and didn't like about this. Um, Punch Lab is really cool because you don't have to put anything on your hands. As you can see, you just kind of put it on the belt and then you're ready to go. Because if you're putting it on your hands, I can tell you, if you're putting, if you're putting trackers, if you're putting trackers on your hands and putting the sensor, taking them on and off each time, it's gonna get old really quick. It gets really annoying. Like, I just can't stand it. I can't stand to do it. I personally can't stand to do it. I'd rather just have my phone. I also love that because my phone is here, I have something visual to look at which is really cool. Whereas others, it's like the trackers are on your hand and then maybe if you have Bluetooth in your ears, you can kind of hear the, the audio things going on. Or some of the other ones, you need to have like a TV nearby, right? Or like a big iPad and it beams it over to that and then you have something visual to look at. But with Punch Lab, it's very easy on and off, 
anywhere you got a phone, you have a very interactive screen and a tracker. There's no like expensive $300, $500 trackers to buy. You just put it on. The only thing that's, uh, that I don't like about it, or the only issue that I have about it, is that sometimes the bag turns, the bag spins around. And so you like, you know, this will happen, right? So you can't see the screen. So I've, I've thought of things before, like, you know, you can have a strap on here and then like with a, with a little uh, bungee or something connected to like a weight on the floor to, so that the bag can swing freely, but it doesn't, um, but it doesn't move around too much. You know, it doesn't spin too much is my point. So now I'm back here. We got the, we got the app downloaded. Let me lock the autofocus onto here so you guys can see. There you go, it's locked. And actually I need to lock it even more. And all right, that's as good as it gets. I'm just going to hit start. And there you go. And then I'm just going to hit done. And boom, there you go. It starts. So you can hear. So you can shuffle, you can take steps forward, backwards, to the left, to the right, but just working that jab. Try to move as much as you can, really loosen up the body, light on those hips. So you're just working that jab. Pop, 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 pop. Step to the left. Step so that's right. pretty cool, you guys. Step forward, step back. You can just keep working in that pattern if that's what works for you. Step forward, step back. I'm trying to get it to focus so it looks nice. You can shuffle while you're working that jab. You know, Oh, I know what it is. If you want to challenge yourself, you can work in a circle. If you it's this plastic space, that... So it's the plastic things that... that job, but continuous movement, continuous movement. You can always shake it out. Boom, boom, bounce, boom. To, right okay. So, you guys get the point. You guys get the point. So there's some fun. It's, it's, it's more interactive. You get to see stuff. You get to do stuff. I think Punch Lab is going to be a lot of fun because they have so many, like... It's open to third-party instructors. I can go on there, put their own workout programs and whatnot. There's something visual, there's something audio. And then the, you know, the setup is very simple. So Punch Lab is my favorite. And now we'll go on to the next one. All right, everybody. Next up, I'm gonna show you, um, next up, I'm gonna show you how the Hixo trackers work, right? So, um, I'm gonna open up the app here and I open up Hixo and then there you go. And you can just go straight to like training. If you wanna just like free train where advanced is like you're following some instructions and then quick start is you just get straight to it. Or there's like drill modes, you know, you can change a different. So it's like a boxing timer. That's kind of nice. You change the intervals and whatnot. And then you can see your like activity over the weeks and how many punches you've thrown and whatnot. It's actually very simple. There's, there's not, it's very, there's nothing much to it. Um, there's no instruction or anything in there. And I'm just gonna hit next here. And then now it's gonna try to find my tracker. So what I have to do is like double tap this. I double tap the tracker. Come on, there it is. That's one. And I have to double tap the other one. And boom, come on now. Okay, maybe the battery died. Okay, there. Both trackers are on. Oh, this one's pretty weak. All right. I hit next. I hit, there you go. And then I just start. So I forgot which tracker goes on which hand. Nobody cares. But here it is. Now, these trackers don't come with a strap or anything. So you're supposed to like tuck it in between your hand wraps or, or inside the glove. I don't have hand wraps on right now. So I'm just going to stick it right here in the Velcro. And that should be good. Oh, oh, and they have to be aimed forward. So like the curved side has to be aiming forward, right? I have one in the glove. The other one, I'm just gonna hold it in my hand and punch this thing. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Some hooks, uppercuts, boom, boom, boom. There you go, and let's see, did it count my punches? How many punches? 18 punches. So that's pretty much it. There's, not, there's nothing more to it. The Hixo app is very simple. So, which is probably why they kind of ditched Hixo after like a year and something and they moved on to something. I'm just gonna stop this here. And there you go. And you see your intensity. And then that's, that's kind of it, you guys. There's, there's really, there's, there's nothing to it. Um, there's really nothing to it. 
It's very plain. So Hixo rebranded, they made a new one and it's called Fight Camp. So if you're trying to buy like Hixo or it's gonna be Fight Camp trackers. So here you go. There's an intro workout. I mean, it looks really nice, right? We, and I'm just gonna show you guys what the app looks like because really nowadays it's just all app. Yeah. I'm gonna skip the intro. So as you can see, you're supposed to like have a TV and like, you know, go along with it at home. I hope you're ready. Let's do this. Right. So there you go. So moments like this, if I had if I had the fight camp trackers, I hit this, and you'll see the numbers go up. So as you can see, it would be really helpful if you had a um, if you had a video. I mean, if you had a, a TV to watch this. All right. So this is good, and I'm gonna lower this. Okay. So oh, and I like this too. Look at it. You can you can have the music volume high or low. So actually, here let's let's do this one more time so you guys can see this. I forgot to mention this. So, I like that you can um, change your music in there. I think it like connects to Spotify or Pandora or something. I don't remember. So you can that way you can still have the instruction, but also have your music or their music if you don't have music. So I think for the whole like home interactive gym training experience. Fight Camp is definitely the best one. It's also the priciest one. Um, I also like the instructors in Fight Camp. The instructors in Fight Camp look like pretty legit boxers. I mean, Tommy, the CEO himself, was a, was a U.S. national team member. So I liked it. Uh, I like fight, fight Camp. And let me show you, actually, I forgot. And come on. Do you recognize my face? Nope, didn't recognize me. Let me show you a little bit of the app, too. So... I'm exiting the workout, and let me make sure you guys can see this. Come on. There you go. And there you go. I've locked it on. And let's just, yeah. Here you go, and put this back up so you guys can see. So you can see the different, like, Lots of videos. You, I mean, the app's just way more polished and sexy looking. We'll show you your progress over time. Um, I obviously have not been using Fight Camp as much, but, you know, versus mode. So it's like an interactive game. You can, like, you know, go head to head with other people and see who throws more punches and whatnot. Um, okay. But overall, I think they have the nicest app and the best the best most like uh most legit boxing instructors on there so if you want to actually see good technique and whatnot fight camp is probably your best bet now we're going to go on to the third one. Oh yeah i forgot to add that like i think it is a big deal that fight camp or hixo doesn't come with um uh, hixo didn't come with like a strap or something to to strap this thing in so when you put it in your gloves like it kind of moves around and and it doesn't get as accurate. There's certain kinds of punches that like, if you throw like little short punches or something, sometimes it doesn't read it or certain hooks or certain uppercuts. All the, all the trackers, all the hand trackers, by the way, there's certain punches that they just don't read. So if you're looking for accuracy of punch count, it's just not gonna be there. Um, I think now with the new fight camp, like depending on the package you get, it already comes with like some little like those easy hand wraps, you know, it's like a little gel wrap. It's, it's, it's not even like a real hand wrap. And with their easy hand wraps, they have a pocket for their trackers. But anyway, just putting that out there so you guys know that. Okay, you guys, next up is the Everlast PIQ. I'm opening up the app right now so you can see. Um, so I just wanted to explain to you like how the strap works. So the Everlast PIQ strap is by far the most annoying. And actually, let me like, yeah, let me, let me focus it on this for a second. So it's the most annoying because like you have to get this little wedge to go inside and then you have to put it in and and then like every time you want to charge it, you have to like pull it out and then you have to stick it in the charger 
And let me show you what the charger looks like. Charger looks like this. And then there's only one for each tracker. And then the way they sell the trackers, they sell it like, they sell the trackers like one at a time. So, so like you, you can buy one tracker at a time. It's, it doesn't come in a pair of two. It could be good buying one at a time if like, for example, you lose one and you only need to buy a replacement one instead of buying a whole set. I guess that could be an advantage to it, but it just makes more sense to sell it in packs of two. So that's just, but here's what the thing is. And you have to put the charger in here and then you have to plug it in into the wall. Um, it's better if you had something like Hixos charger, Hixos chargers like this, and you can put two little things and then it stores it and you plug it in. And it's really neat, really small, where the PIQ is like the tracker and the charger and you have two trackers, two chargers, and then you got these two straps. The strap is pretty heavy duty. Like it, it goes around your glove. It's on the outside. So it's not as hidden and, and minimalist. It's on the outside, it's heavy duty. I just wish that like the way the tracker works was, was more clean. Like you know, where I have to bend it around here. And then, you know, I wish you could, could have just like slide it into here. So I found it to be very annoying. Now, um, I will say this, the batteries in mine died. So I think it's really unacceptable quality for Everlast to be giving you uh, batteries and the, the, the sensors that are just so weak that they die. Now it could be because I had it stored for so long, you know, like there was like an eight, nine month period where I didn't touch them and they died. But the thing is my other trackers didn't die. So I don't know, Everlast, they gotta work on their, their quality control a little bit. Now let's get over here to the app again. And yeah, I don't care you guys see my, my code. So I'm just gonna show you, like run you through the app real quick because that's, that's really the experience. And let me just lock it. Come on, locked. Okay, here, um, we can go there, there's like a leaderboard, there's a score, there's sessions, drills. It's a little bit confusing at first to like figure out like what is what. Training lab, so that is like their videos. They only have like eight instructional videos. Uh, then you hit check it out and it's a dead website. So I don't know, looks like they're not focusing too much on their product. I think the PIQ is really like, it's kind of a dead product. It's, it's not a serious product. It's a shame because for me, the tracker, the Everlast PIQ tracker was probably the best tracker of all of them. I felt like, you know, it was tracking, tracking your retraction time. I felt like it was able to pick up your punches like more accurately. I could throw more smaller punches and, and they were getting counted. Whereas the other, with the other trackers, like certain punches just weren't getting counted. Okay, all time crosses, how many kinds of punches you threw. Um, you know, I like that it can differentiate between the straight punches and the hooking punches better, where other apps weren't doing that as well. And yeah, overall, I mean, overall, I think it was cool that Everlast uh, paired up with a, um, that they paired up with a real app company. I just think, I mean, uh, that they paired up with a real tracker company, PIQ, clearly has built many trackers. And if you look, they've built many trackers for other sports. So the trackers are really good. And as you can see, I mean, it's a pretty large size tracker. So it's gonna be, it's just gonna be more information passing through here. But it's just that the overall app experience sucks. Um, there's not much instructional or like technique on it. And this thing was fumbly. The whole charging and putting it into the strap was kind of fumbly. I mean, even the straps itself, there's like, there's this strap and then there's like this strap. It's, it's too many pieces. Too much of a hassle for me, but it's a shame. I thought they, they had the best tracker, the best tracker in, in terms of like statistical accuracy, quantitative accuracy. Okay, we'll get on to the next tracker. Okay, you guys, the next tracker here is the corner tracker. And I'm just gonna hold it here next to the phone. There you go, you can see. I think it looks really nice. Um, I love the way it looks and I can show you. It's very elegant. This is a strap, it's a very minimal strap. And then it goes right onto here. And I'm just trying to make sure you guys can see it. So you slide it right here into the back of it. Um, and maybe, maybe when you're sliding it in, it'll take you a little, just a little bit of effort to make sure it's all tucked in and tucked away nice. But the beautiful thing about this is that you can leave it in the strap forever because 
I can expose the charge port right here and then I can charge it. So I leave this in the strap forever, I can charge for me. I don't have to take it out of the strap like I do with the Everlast PIQ. And you'll see that, you'll see that later or I don't know in what order I'm gonna put the videos, but you'll see that in the other sections. So just like that, so I can leave this in the strap forever. It's really easy, I will never lose it. Also too, the corner doesn't require like its own charger, right? So like Hikso or Fight Camp or the Everlast PIQ, they need their own little like charging blocks. But with the corner, you don't need a charging block. You just connect the little micro USB cable and that's it. So any micro USB cable and then plug it into USB, it'll charge for you. Strap is here, it's very elegant, it looks nice, it's slim, and at the same time, not so small that you're gonna lose it somewhere, right? Uh, you just gotta make sure I put, yeah, there you go, there's an arrow, and I point that forward. I put this on my arm, and it's on, and then now, it's time to play with the app. So, let's get over here. And I'm sorry for like the light, dark exposure, all that. I know it's really annoying you guys, but um, I don't know any easier way to handle this, so. Let's do this, open up the app. Now I think the corner app is actually really nice. Ah, re annoying reflection. Here you go, we can find a class. There's a free and paid tier. Um, I can just go to like free training and let me see where that is. Can't see right now. Oh yeah, there you go, quick start. There you go and it's gonna like try to find the trackers. I think it will. Where's the other one? Got the other one on right now. Did it find it yet? One of my trackers is not connected. Come on now. I'm like banging the trackers. There you go. Updates available. I'm just gonna continue so you can, you see you can choose the Spotify music. So it wants me to throw a jab. Okay, throw a cross. Okay, and then there you go. So I'm just gonna go, boom, and one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, boom. Okay, and there you can see, I don't know if it counted my punches correctly. It looks really nice, it looks really sleek. And maybe what I gotta do, I'm gonna try to go over here. So you guys, there you go, maybe this is better. All right, I'm gonna stop this here. And I'm just gonna exit out of here because we don't need to see that. And finish so you can like share on your social media or whatnot put a photo of yourself um this is more trim um here you go or just box so here you go so there's different instructors on there again they have like a monthly subscription model so you like you train at home okay so this one is not this is not a free class where's the free classes full body oh premium members only all right I'm gonna give them five more seconds because if I don't find the free they have they have a free class in here and I can't find it right now all right maybe this there you go this is free so it's gonna be something like this oh so this is just a tutorial training video okay so corner Corner, the thing about corner, like, I like corner. I like the way, like, the sensor and the strap was designed and all that. Um, I just thought maybe they're, I, th I just think in terms of the tracker, it's not as accurate picking up, again, curving punches. Uh, I think, yeah, fight camp and corner, like, sometimes they don't, they don't pick up, like, hooking punches or, like, you know, just straight small shots or shots that, if it's anything less than like a perfectly straight line, there's a chance that it might not count, okay? Uh, in terms of the app and the overall, the overall user experience for Corner, I think it's more for like a fitness market. It's like a, like a boxer size at home market. It's not like a true, like the instructionals in there, the tutorials, it's not for boxing, it's more for weight loss and whatnot. So even though I loved, I really love the strap and all that, I think if you're a serious boxer, corner is not gonna be the one for you. I think it's, it's not gonna be engaging enough and, and yeah, it's too bad because I, I like the strap, I like that. I like the strap, I like the tracker and the app really isn't too bad. It's nice looking, it's very polished, just, I don't know, it's not made for serious boxers in my opinion. 
So, at the end of the day, how do I feel about boxing trackers and sensors and the apps and all that? Uh, will it make you a better fighter? Will it make you in better shape and all that? As you can see, I feel like the overall user experience, um, it's not gonna make you a better fighter because at best, at best, they're counting numbers of punches. That's it. Um, will it track like how powerful you're hitting or how fast you're hitting? Not really, not really. Like. If you throw faster, it'll register as faster. If you throw lighter, it'll register as lighter. But how accurate are the numbers? And how much quality is in the numbers? Because a lot of times, especially with boxing, it's about having the timing or having the accuracy that does more damage than just raw speed and power. Okay, so I don't think the trackers are gonna be that helpful to your improving your boxing skills. And also too, like for example, your punching power after like the first couple of years or something, after that, I mean, your punching power doesn't go up too much higher. You, 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 at a certain age, you reach the peak of your strength, and then from there, you only hit harder because you have better timing, or you hit harder because you have better accuracy. But that's it. So, you know, and, and it's better that you move around and judge the quality of your shots, that you're hitting them right on target at the right time, and you're setting them up correctly. You know, those skills, those are real skills and things that matter more than how fast or how hard I'm hitting, you know. So, that, so for me, it's, it's really just for endurance training, cardio training, if you want it. Will it make you a better fighter? No. Because to be a better fighter, you're not thinking numbers, man. You're thinking about your opponent. You're understanding movement and angles and trying new things, setting up different things. It's not just all out <laughs> going, going as crazy as you can on the heavy bag. So I, I'm personally not a fan of them in terms of skill development and boxing, like fighting ability development. Now in terms of working out and training, how much will it help you in training? So for me, it's also a no personally because I'm not stimulated by by you know an app and a little TV and whatnot. I go to the real gym, I see real people, there's there's atmosphere, there's energy and all that. That's where all my excitement comes from. That's where like I'm really motivated. I don't need a little app with numbers and a tiny screen. I'm the whole world is my screen, right? So that's what inspires me. But if you're the kind of person that you know, you can only train alone, you can only train at home, there's nothing else. Well, in that case, using an app or having a TV and an interactive experience, that's better than, you know, you alone in, in the garage with nothing else, no other environmental stimulation, it's better than. So, I will use it just for that. Um, about the fifth app, uh, Strike Tech, I, I'm just not gonna review it because it, the, pro the product is, they didn't even have an iPhone app. It was only for Android. And then I, you know, they sent me a phone. They sent me the trackers, and I, I just, I just think it, it wasn't, it wasn't a good product, and it's not going to get launched. I think it's been abandoned. Um, I saw some other generic ones on Amazon that I don't think will, I don't think are going to be any good. They had horrible reviews, so I didn't even buy it. J just, just to see out of curiosity, I didn't even buy it. So that's what I, that's how I feel overall about the boxing tracker experience. And you know, you guys tell me if you have bought some or you're thinking to buy some, you know, what are you expecting out of them? What, what do you want them to do? What are you seeing? And likewise, if you already bought them, how do you like the ones you bought, right? Like, was it a hassle <laughs> putting them on, taking them off? For me, I think it's a hassle. Anything that I have to go extra and put them on, take them off. I also heard too, I heard some people complaining that the, uh, the trackers died because they weren't sweat proof. Some people complain that sweat got into their, their, their tracker and killed it. So that's pretty funny. Um, but personally, I think in the future, I think a screen would be pretty awesome. Like every punching bag in the future should have like a screen right here, like just right here, a screen. It's a game board, it's a bit, maybe you're fighting another person on another heavy bag. That could be a lot of fun. Uh, maybe there's even like, um, like head mo like a head tracker, right? So you have trackers for your hands and your head, and then maybe you can even like, they'll have you do head movement and things like that. So I'm not against technology. I think there's a lot of like fun, interactive things it could do where you could be fighting an opponent on there like a game. But as of right now, for these, I think these are just for, it's just like a training at home with the TV and the punch count thing. I think that gets old really fast. Like really, it's just, it's better to just turn on the instructional and then um, box along with it. The trackers, to me, they don't add too much value. Even just to count punches, I, I, 
I personally don't feel they add too much value. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. For more great tips, boxing tips, go to my website, expertboxing.com, or subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, Expert Boxing on YouTube. Thanks for watching.